Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Phenology Lab. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my trading setup on Thinkorswim, and I will also be showing you how to build one for yourself that not only works for you, but it's also clutter-free. All right, everybody, after you got your Robinhood account set up or your Webull account set up, and definitely TD Ameritrade, now it's time to get your thinkorswim set up okay what you the first thing you want to do is to log in with your credentials with the live feature activated okay and then let's dive right in all right now after you log into thinkorswim you will see this all right you will see this is the default thing of thinkorswim you want to make sure that you have this on chart right up here and on the left side what you got is your account information right there and they will give you a watch list okay filled with a bunch of random stocks you can always change these by just clicking on the name and then changing those to amazon for example all right or changing it to whatever you want by just clicking on the name and the next thing you want to do is to have the charts and the watch list connected so what you want to do is click on here and then click on number one red or any color that your heart desires just click on red and then you click on here and you do the same thing that way you link them and then every time you choose a stock, again, this will auto-populate and it's really, really, really nice. Again, let's choose Cron just for this tutorial. The next thing I like to have on my chart is to add another watch list, okay? And this one will serve for the scanners. Again, click on watch list right there. And again, you wanna link them. And another thing that I like to add is the live news for the stock. And these are the news for Cron right there. And again, you want to link them to red. All right. And the very last thing is the level two, which would be explained in another video, not this one. All right. Again, click on level two and then link them again, right, right there. Okay. Now regarding the chart itself, I don't like the default setting of think of some, that's my personal opinion. If you like it, you can keep it the same. All right. But I personally don't like it. So to change this, what you want to do is to go on settings, right? And then for the very first one, again, these, these are my setup. What you want to make sure is that you have this thing right there and checked. Okay. And the reason why is because you don't want the volume to overlap on a chart. I think it's very ugly and I honestly don't like it. So just click and check overlap and then move on to the next tab to the price axis. And then for that one, I like to have a little room at the top and the bottom. So for the, for this section, you want to click on 20 and then for the percentage down, you want to do 10. All right. Now watch what happens here and here after I do that, I'm going to click apply and then we got more space, more space to work with. The next thing you want to do is the time axis for the time axis. You want to make sure that you have some room on the right. So you want to go over here and then change that to 200 and apply and then after you change that to 200 you can click ok you can zoom out and now you got a lot more room to work with on the side let's go back to the settings shall we the next thing you want to do is change the favorite time axis the favorite time frame and what i personally have on my thinkorswim are these right here okay the first one the one minute i like to have it at five days right there and then click add all you got to do is just click on this one and then for the five minutes, click on that one and then click edit and then change that one to 15 and then add. And then for the 15 minute, I like to change that one to 30 and then add for the 30 minutes. I like to change it to 90 for the one hour, for the one hour. I like to change that to 360 days for the four hour. I like to change that to 360 days as well. Add. And then for the yearly chart, the, and then for the daily chart, I mean, I like to have that at at least five years. And then each candle will represent a day. Then I click add. And then for the weekly, if I want, if I really want to go back and see what happened in the past, I click on that and I click on edit. And then I click on the max available year. Then I click on add. And yeah, this is the way I have mine set up. Okay, you can click on apply and then okay. And then you can find all of these favorite time frame right here. You can just click on there and then they're all laid out. All of your favorites are right here for you. 
Let's go back to the settings again. One more thing that I want to change is the appearance of the chart right there. Okay. Let me just change that to the five minute so we can have a, so we can, so we can really see what's going on. And then let's go back to the settings again. Appearance. Now I don't like this. Okay. I don't like the color. I think it's too faint. So I like to change the borders and the candle itself to a very bright red. Okay. And then this one, the green I like is fine. And I do the same thing for that one too, the body of the candle. And I change that to the same color red and I click OK. And then I don't like the way it's hollow over here. I like my candles filled. So I click on here to fill them up. And as you can see, they just got filled. The next thing that I like to do is I don't like the blue. The volume, I do not like them as blue. If you like them, that's fine. You can keep it the way they are. But I changed them to the exact color of the candles. So the way you want to do that is by going down here and by changing this from preset color to the color as symbol text. So you click on that and as you can see, the color changed. If you want to change the background to a more darker color, you can by clicking here on the background. If you want to make it darker, you can click on black. And as you can see, it changed to black. But I personally like the color right in between black and gray, which is this one right there. Okay. And then for the grid lines, if you like the grid lines, you can keep it. I like them, so I, so I keep it. If you don't like them, you can just inject them and they would disappear. But again, I like them, so they will stay. All right. And then you click on apply and you click on OK. Now, yeah, so this is the way I have my candles set up now let's move on to the indicators now for the indicators i do not like clutter i don't have too many on my chart you do not need that many indicators on your chart all they do is just get in the way cloud your judgment and prevent you from actually getting what the market is trying to tell you okay you do not need those sophisticated magd rsi sense classic or whatever it is right you don't need any of that Okay, what you need to do is to study patterns, right? Study extensively, focus your time on that, right? And then catch them, well, find them first, catch them, and then profit off of them, okay? Now let's look at the indicators that I use. Now, to add indicators to your chart, what you wanna do is click on um, studies. And then here are a list of indicators that I don't use. What you wanna do is go on the search bar and type um, sample moving average okay so you double click on that to add it and double click on it again because i use two of them and what you want to do is edit the settings of those simple moving averages by clicking on this and leave these the way they are i like the nine okay and you can change the color to green because i like green and then you can change the width too if you want but honestly i like to keep things the way they are all right then you click on okay and then watch what happens to the chart, okay? As I click on apply. Yeah, so this right here is the simple moving average for the nine. And then let's change the other one to the 200 simple moving average, which is another one that I use, all right? And then we're gonna change the color of that to red. Again, more and then red, okay, and okay. And then apply, okay? And here is the other SMA that I use. You can make this line thicker if you want by going on the settings again and then changing the width to five. Watch what happens to the line if I click OK and apply. Watch. It got really thick, which I don't like. So I'm going to remove it and then go back to the one. OK. And OK. And yes. All right. The next indicator that I'll use is called the VWAP. Now, the VWAP does exactly what the simple moving average does, which is to calculate the average price of the previous nine and 200, like I have said on here. Okay. But the VWAP also takes into account the volume for it. Okay. Now here it is. What you want to do is type on VWAP in this search bar and then double click on it and then go on settings. And something about the VWAP that I really, really hate is the upper band and the lower band. I don't like those. I don't care for those. I don't think you need them. And I honestly get rid of them. Okay. So the way you want to get rid of them is by clicking on upper band and then in checking these. All right. You don't want to show on the plot. You don't want to see it. You don't care. 
Okay, same thing again for the lower band. Same thing. Get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. Okay, and then go back to the main one, the VWAP. All right. And then for that one, what I like to do is I like to change the color to gray, to this gray. That way it's very faint and it's not too much in the way. And I like to change the style to, uh, to dash right there. Okay. Then after you're done with that, again, these, you want them on the chart. So you leave them, you click on okay here and then watch what happens. There's going to be a line going right there. Okay. Apply. This is the VWAP. Okay. And I like it. I use it. It's very helpful. And yeah. Yeah. So after you're done putting in your studies, AKA your indicators, what you want to do is to save everything. That way it doesn't get lost after you close think or swim. The way you want to do that is by going on style and by going on save style. And then you can name this my favorite style or whatever your heart desires, right? And then you also want to make sure that you have this one checked. That way everything is saved along with it. And you click on save. All right. And if you want to load to it, you can go on style again and then load style. And then here is my favorite right there, which is pretty much the same as my usual, the nine and 20 and the normal volume. Okay. And one more thing that you want to do is to save the entire workspace. Okay. Save the entire everything. All right. And by doing that is by going to setup, top, right, click on there. And then you click on save workspace as, and then you change that to my favorite workspace or whatever your heart desires. Okay. You can put one, two, three, whatever you want. And you can click on save. Bam. All right, now you got that workspace saved. Everything is there and it will never go away. All right. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. That, these are the only three indicators that I use on my chart. And again, you don't need these complicated indicators like the RSI and the MACD. Okay. What you need is a clear mind, a clear chart. Okay. And a clear conscience to be able to spot these patterns, catch them and make money off of them like we always do here on this channel. If you thought this video was helpful and got any value from it, definitely, definitely hit that like button. It helps the channel grow and it allows more people to get this knowledge as well. Um, if you have any questions or comments, definitely put them in the comment section below. I would love to hear what y'all think. If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and also hit that notification bell. That way you get notified when I release new videos. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Patternology Lab. I do post the patterns that I spot daily and I do post my entries and my exit on there as well. My name is Paul with Patternology Lab where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see y'all in the next one. Take care.